What's going on guys? This is Keegan and Joel from Punisher's Paintball. Today we are bringing you a Ultimate Knee Pads review to follow up on our Ultimate Elbow Pad review. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be bringing you more great content on a weekly basis. And make sure you follow us on social media. Enjoy this video. Alrighty guys, so we have a great selection of uh, knee pads here from many different manufacturers. Companies like Virtue, HK Army, Planet Eclipse, uh, we have Bunker Kings, as well as Dye Paintball and Exalt Paintball. Um, so we're going to do the same thing that we did with our arm pad review, which is basically going in, in sequence dependent upon price. Um, so the first thing that we have here are the damage pads that are offered by Virtue Paintball. And uh, these retail for a price point of $36.95, so they're actually the cheapest ones out, out on the market. And uh, Keegan, I'm gonna let you give your first impressions on these knee pads before I talk about them. Yeah, so uh, first picking up these knee pads, um, you can tell that they're going bare bones, kind of going for the cheapest thing that they could. What I like that they did that I noticed is that on the inside, it has a softer foam than on the outside here. Okay. Um, it actually has like a two layer foam where the inside of it is a lot more of a cushiony foam yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. that you're not going to be digging your knee into or anything. Um, but then the outside of it has a harder, thicker foam uh, for taking that impact away. Yeah, as you can see here, like these, these separate protrusions right here. Uh, are different padding than what Keegan's talking about on the inside of the knee. It does have the strap at the top, um, and it does seem to be a fairly sticky Velcro. It's not gonna be coming off on you or anything while you're playing. A bunch of different companies do it different ways. Some of them have uh, the strap on the top and bottom. Some of them only have it on the bottom. Some don't have it at all, um, but these ones have it on the top. It really comes down to personal, personal preference of which one you like. Um, but for a bare bones pad, this seems pretty well pretty good um and mm -hmm. if you're going for budget these wouldn't be a bad option no not at all i i completely agree with that i think uh you know for 36.95 uh this is this is a great price point compared to some of these other pads and the 50 60 dollar price point you know these are very nice very nice quality yeah um this outside portion here as you can kind of tell it's a little bit thicker so it's going to protect the lateral and medial side of your knee. And then on the back here, uh, another thing that I'd like to point out is that in the middle here, kind of where the crease of the back of your knee is, um, there's no uh, type of fabric. So a lot of people complain about, like you had mentioned about a, pre a different knee pad, is that that can kind of kink in there and cause a lot of irritation on your skin. Uh, definitely thoughtful piece right there. Yeah, I like the fact that the strap is, it's got a nice Velcro, so it's adjustable, which is really nice. Uh, secondly, it's a thicker strap. And then yeah. thirdly, uh, it is on the top of the knee. Like you said, that's a preference thing. For me, preference-wise, I definitely prefer it on the top. You know, when I'm running and everything else like that, I feel like if it's on the top of the knee, it's not going to move yeah. nearly as much as on the bottom of the knee. I've had both, and, um, you know, we'll kind of talk about that when we when we reach those pads. But, yeah, definitely a good pad uh, for those people that are looking for a budget. Okay, so next we have the Exalt Free Flex knee pads. This is uh, a jump up of price point. These retail for $54.95, um, so almost $20 more in price than the Virtue Damage pads. Um, but these are a very popular choice for a lot of paintball players. Um, they come in uh, many different sizes, just as all of these do. Um, but what's really nice about the Exalt ones is that you can tell that they're very good quality. Um, there's a few things that I like to say about this because I've actually worn these pads in, in the past on a personal experience. Um, these knee pads are, are really nice. I did like my time when I was wearing these. Um, you know, one thing that I like to point out that I uh, don't like, though, is that this back portion behind your behind your leg is actually the same fabric all the way around whereas some of the other knee pads yeah. have have altering uh, fabric the other thing too is like the strap is on the bottom um, which I was not a big fan of uh, I never had a problem with these sticky or staying on my knee they always stay on my knee no matter how much I was running diving etc 
Um, so that is a nice that is a nice thing um, as compared to like the damage pads or some of these other pads where the strap is on the top but you know overall I think this is a great pad um, the the fabric on, or the uh, foam on this seems to be a pretty nice quality it almost feels like that gel material that I really like on the Bunker Kings pads or at least on the arm pads on their arm pads um, pretty simplistic design nothing too complicated uh, so now I'm going to hand it over to Keegan and let him uh, talk about it a little bit too. So I've never worn these pads and picking them up, um, they do seem very well made. Uh, like they're not going to come apart on you or anything through all the stress. Um, I am noticing what you were talking about here on the back. Uh, yeah. it, would like, it would be nice to see something like the damage pads where it has that um, real thin kind of mesh, I guess, that... Mm -hmm. uh, it's really light, breathable. Yeah, it's um, like a thin, moisture looking yeah. material. And doesn't kind of pinch up uh, in the crease of your knee. Um, so I see what you're saying there, uh, as well as the strap. Uh, the strap actually doesn't even, doesn't seem to be, is it Velcro? It is. No, oh, it was hidden behind there. It's a very thick foam. Um, or not thick, but it's a harder foam. It's not going to be a real soft foam that you're kneeling on or anything, but they do seem very well constructed and like they're not going to fall apart on you. Okay, so next uh, we have the HK Army Crash Pads. So now we have the HK Crash uh, knee pads. These are not the new gen CTX. We will get to those in a bit, but these are the original crash pads. I had the elbow pads in these and I have tried on these knee pads. These knee pads are a very uh, thick foam to them and they don't feel the most comfortable when you're wearing them. What I do like about them though, is it does have this mesh and it seems to go all the way around. Uh, it's kind of like a separate layering, but other than that, it. It's a really thick padding. It doesn't flex a whole lot, as well as it doesn't really conform to your knee a lot, which you need in a knee pad. Mm -hmm. um, you can't have it sliding down, and that was my issue with a lot of knee pads and why I didn't wear them for a while. I couldn't find something that wouldn't slide on me. Um, and I mean, th this, is a, this is a size small, and it looks absolutely massive. Um, I'm not exactly sure whose knees these were meant to fit. <laughs> um, to yeah, be they honest, do seem they do seem really large. It's a very big padding area, and um, they're honestly not the most comfortable padding. What yeah, are your thoughts? Well, you know, I think that the foam, like you said, the foam doesn't really contour. It's the same yeah. issue that you had with your elbow pads, yeah. with the crash pads. I think that there is a few pros to this pad. Uh, the first thing that I'd like to say is that I did notice that this, ha it does have a top band. Uh, the middle portion here, you mind if I see that one? Yeah. Yeah, so the middle portion here, you know, as far as bending your knee, I do like yeah. that. It does have mesh all the way through, uh, so like the cr it's not, it still has mesh uh, in the crease of your knee, um, so I don't know how much that could possibly bother your knee. Yeah. The adjustable portion is on the bottom again. Not a huge fan about that. Not a huge fan on the bendability of the, you know, how it's not going to contour to your knee, basically. You yeah. Know, like, that's my yeah. biggest thing. That was your biggest issue yeah. with the elbow pads. Um, but, you know, I do like, it seems like it's a good quality pad um, as far as, like, the build quality behind it. I do like that it does have two separate bands on the back of the knee to kind of uh, aid in assisting from it. Yeah. falling off but yeah keegan i'm with you man like this is not like my ideal pad if you're going to give me options here this probably isn't going to be it yeah um especially you know price point what are we at 54.95 on this so uh yeah For the price there's better options that you have and you get into even better options once you give it another five dollars right uh the nice thing about knee pads is there isn't a huge gap between pricing uh the only real big gap that you see is from the damage up to uh kind of the next well. level of pricing right and so for the money you can get better things okay that's fair so next uh we're going to talk about the planet eclipse phantom pads and these retail for 54.95 so now we have the planet eclipse phantom pads first off looking at it it's a very wide pad um, that looks like it's supposed to wrap completely around your knee or like halfway around your knee. Mm. Um, 
but they did try to take some uh, precautions to make it uh, fit your knee better. You can see it kind of has an hourglass shape to it. Mm -hmm. So when you flex your knee, it's not going to bunch up uh, on the sides quite as much. Um, although I did just try this pad on. Um, this is a size small. It still seemed to have too much padding there and like it was too wide and didn't fit uh, quite right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a smaller person with smaller legs, and yet the small still yeah, it didn't, looked, didn't contour too easily. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was too big on you. Yeah. Because it was too wide on these on these bottom portions. Like yeah. the hourglass portion here where you're bending your knee, I do. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Um, but yeah, these two, the upper portion above the kneecap and the bottom portion below the kneecap is a little bit wider. Yeah. For sure. What do you think about the back? Uh, the back of it, I like that they have two straps on it first. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I agree that with helps that. from the pad sliding up or down your leg or yep. rotating around. Yeah. Um, so that's a pro to this pad. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the back, I like the just the open concept, having nothing there. I do too. Um, and when I had it on, it didn't pinch me at all. Uh, but it did seem to uh, restrict my maneuverability with my knee. Like just stiff yeah it, it yeah. just seemed more stiff than it would be wearing a normal pad but i do like that it's just open you don't you don't necessarily need anything there as long as you have these strap areas mm -hmm. it, it's good you don't you, you i mean you should be playing with pants on um so you don't need anything there it's not protecting you um and it breathes well what are your thoughts a few things a i really like the fact that it's got the double strap on the top and the yep. bottom that's really nice i like the hourglass thing that you were talking about where you know you're bending in the middle of the knee uh it's not going to have all this extra padding on the side i did notice a few things that i do and don't like about it on the back side so first off the open concept i love that idea mm -hmm. you're not going to have any type of fabric there so it's impossible for you to have any issues when it comes to uh irritating the skin on the back of your knee uh, the other thing that I noticed, which is kind of bizarre, and I feel like it could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing, is that uh, the this open portion right here is actually where your kneecap goes on the front side of your on the front side of, front side of your leg. And my thing with that is like this out, outer portion here, if you're diving and kneeling a lot, I could definitely see that this would uh, could possibly irritate yes. uh, where your kneecap is. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. Definitely something to consider when purchasing these pads is that that could definitely be a problem as well as the, the actual padding itself is open uh, to you right there. So yeah. there are a few things I really like about this pad. I think that you know the, the double strap, the open concept, I really like that. I think that this could be a cause of concern, um, but definitely not something that unfortunately we haven't had the opportunity to test these pads. Um, when it comes to, is it gonna irritate your kneecap? Yeah. Um, the overall padding itself doesn't seem like it's the best quality out of the pads that are offered, Yeah. but I would say that it's not the worst either. Um, but yeah, overall, I think for the price point of $54.95, I do like these compared to some of the other options. So yeah, so with that said, uh, the next pad that we're gonna be talking about is the Bunker Keens supreme royal guard pads all right so next on the list we have the bunker king supreme royal guard knee pads um, these knee pads are a very light padding um, the first thing that i noted when picking them up is the front padding on it is much softer than i think any of the other ones that we have shown oh, so far today it's a very light padding and it feels like it would be just the right amount. Um, it's not overly hard padding. You're not gonna be hitting your knee on it or anything. Um, so I think that that is probably my preferred padding. Moving on to the back, we have one strap and it's on the bottom. I know you're not a big fan of it, but um, you do have a strap there. Um, these are actually the pads that I personally use. And so far, I have not had any problems with them falling down, sliding up, or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, even without using the strap, sometimes I'll forget to strap it going out before a point, and I haven't had any problems with it. And something that I like to point out about the Bunker Keens pads is that like you are wearing smalls on every other 
uh, yeah. knee pad, these actually start at a medium. So for those people that are concerned about, you know, is the knee pad gonna be too big for your knee? You know, Keegan has worn smalls and other types of knee pads and it hasn't been an issue and he's wearing mediums right now. So yeah. something to point out. Yeah, so I do wear the mediums in these and they fit me almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. First time I put them on, um, they felt great. And even without the strap, they, um, these two elastic bands fit very well around your leg uh, and they don't seem to dig in at all. They feel very good and very well constructed. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I'd like to point out is it does have that um, cutout gap here in the center uh, for uh, the crease in your knee um, as well as the mesh. And wearing these, I don't feel anything irritating my skin as well as nothing is kind of pinching up on me. Um, overall, they feel very nice um, and are a well-constructed pad. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I actually just switched over to these uh, myself too from the Virtue Breakout Pads. And so far I've had a good experience. I'm wearing the 2XL in these and they're a little bit tight, but for the most part, I noticed one thing when I was playing at the uh, MSXL events last weekend was that I never once um, had I have a knee problems and I never once uh, felt that my knee was stiff from these whereas other pads I've worn them and I've definitely noticed with my knee problems that my knee got worse over yeah. the period of the day of the day playing um, but yeah I think that you know my thing with these is like they're pretty simple right like, yeah they're uh, super simple they're super simple but you know they do the job they're at a decent price point of uh, what are these at these are at sixty one ninety five, I believe. These are at uh, $59.95. So for $59.95, I think they're a great pad. Um, you know, I probably, me personally, would have liked to have seen that there was nothing here. Yeah. Um, but I also noticed that it wasn't bothering, bothering the back of my leg either here. Um, and the other thing that you mentioned is I wish it was up here, the strap was up here. Um, but again, I didn't have any issues yeah. when it came to sliding off, so that's all I gotta say about that. Um, and overall, yeah, I just really like these pads as well, Keegan. That's why I gave them a shot was because you're wearing them now, and uh, you know the the foam is definitely the softest, and By I really far. I really do like that about these pads. So, yeah. all right. So next on the uh, list is gonna be the Die Performance pads. All right. So next on the list is the Die Performance pads, knee pads. Um, these retail at a price point of fifty nine ninety five, so they're in the same price point as the majority of the pads that we've covered so far. Once again, the Exalt through the Planet Eclipse are fifty four ninety five, the Bunker Kings are fifty nine ninety five, so they're same price point. And honestly, I noticed a lot of similarities between the two. A few small differences between the die as from the Bunker Kings. Uh, you said that they feel heavy. I would yeah. agree with that. They're definitely heavier than the Bunker Kings pads. Um, the other thing that I would like to mention is that the padding on this is a lot harder than the padding on the Bunker Canes. Um, so they're probably not gonna contour to your knee as well as the Bunker Canes. Um, but you know, there are similarities. Uh, the back portion here is very similar to the Bunker Canes pads. I like the fact that it's it's thick and it's not a yeah. thin, uh, it's not a thin strap. And on both the top and the bottom, one thing that I do like is that there is nothing there in the kink of your in the crease of your uh, back of your knee when you bend your when you bend your leg. I do like that. Uh, the strap here, you know, I, honestly, the strap doesn't make sense to me because it's like too thin, right? Yeah. Like most of the other straps start wider out to really tie it down if you need that. Um, but you know, I do like this. These are pretty popular at the store yeah I would say they do sell uh, quite frequently which means they must be pretty popular uh, by demand um, but I don't like the fact that it's hard harder than the bunker canes what do you think Keegan? Uh, yeah I, I'm right there with you um, it seems like it would be a pad that doesn't conform to your knee as much um, and kind of restricts you uh, compared to the bunker kings um, I think part of that is just the stiffer padding uh, restricts more as it's not going to flex as much. Right. Um, the other thing that I did notice mm -hmm. uh, on the inside of the die padding, it oh, has a little. Uh, it, it's almost like an elastic y rubber bit. It reminds um, me of the Exalt uh, Free Flex arm pads yeah. that cut into your skin. Yeah, that uh, 
it could irritate you. Um, I have personally worn these, but uh, on the upside, it would prevent it from moving from around on you. Me. Yep. Um, so that's the only other thing that I had to say about it. Okay. So I think that for fifty nine ninety five, I think it's a good option. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's got some pros and cons in my opinion uh, compared to you know other knee pads in this price range. So next we're gonna move, move on to the Virtue Breakout Pads. So the Virtue Breakout Pads, I've worn these personally, so I'm gonna talk on these. Um, the Breakout Pads, I really did enjoy these. I just switched over to the Bunker Keens. I liked the time that I wore these Breakout Pads um, for a few different reasons. First off, I liked how thin and lightweight they were. Uh, as I previously mentioned, I do have knee problems and I did not have many problems when it came to these uh breakout pads bothering my knee um you know the other thing too is like the amount of padding is relatively minimal so if you're going for a minimal pad these are definitely the pads that you want um because they just they're super lightweight there's not a ton of padding to them they kind of just do the the minimum amount of job that they need to do if you're looking for maximum protection these are definitely aren't the knee pads that you want um, a few things I do like about uh, this knee pad specifically, I like the fact that the strap is at the top. I think that's very smart. Um, I actually wore these to the point that they were starting to uh, fall down on my knee. Even with the top strap, they would fall down on my knee when I was running. Um, so maybe uh, the, the bottom strap is, is the answer to that. Um, but logically, in my mind, I think that the top strap makes more sense. Um, the back portion here never bothered my skin. And, um, you know, overall, I liked how lightweight it was. I never felt like I was wearing something on my knees. Um, and, you know, they come in at a good price point. Uh, there's not much padding when it comes to the outside here. It's just enough to kind of protect your kneecap, uh, which is, you know, I guess ultimately yeah. the goal. Um, so yeah, I really did like these breakout pads. Do you have anything to add, Keegan, to these? Uh, the one thing that I did notice, yeah. um, on the back, which is different from any of the other padding, it doesn't have a real thick strap going across. Um, yeah. It is just that mesh material that holds together um, the front padded bit to the actual back of it. Mm -hmm. um, it it's not like any of the other pads where you have that strap, and that's the big thing that I noticed with these, which I would... It's different. Um, yeah, it, it's different. Yeah. Um, I think that it has its pros and cons, mm -hmm. um, but I think it comes down to personal preference. Yeah, yeah, and, and like I said, if, if you're looking for the minimal type of knee, or knee pad, excuse me, that's what you want, um, and that's a really good pickup, you know? There is nothing on the backside yeah. when it comes to, like, you know, elastic bands or anything like that. So next we're gonna talk about the HK Army CTX pads. These are gonna be the last ones in our review. All right guys, so we have the HK Army CTX pads here. Um, these pads kind of remind me a lot of the uh, Planet Eclipse Phantom pads. Okay. Um, where it has a strap on both the top and the bottom, as well as you have a real thick elastic band on uh, the top and bottom. Where it differs is you do have the kind of mesh interior an internal bit um, that is going to be there that's really not needed but mm -hmm. um, can be nice. The padding is it's not the stiffest padding but it's also not um, the lightest padding like the Bunker Kings pads but when I had these on they seem to pinch uh, the crease of my knee when flexing my leg if I went um, a bit too far it started to pinch it didn't feel the best um, that was my main complaint with these pads and why I didn't end up going with them. Um, but overall, they seem like a very uh, well-constructed pad mm -hmm. and uh, definitely an upgrade from the crash pads. Yeah. Um, I think that HK did a good job uh, going from the crash pads to the CTX pads. Um, and these are coming in at a price point of... Uh, Sixty four ninety five. Yeah, the most so, expensive. Yeah, they are the most expensive uh, pads on the market. Yeah. Um, so you're not going to spend like you know you work at the store and everything else <laughs> like that. It's not going to be uh, what you spend sixty four ninety five on. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, that's fair. Um, you know, I think, I think that there's some really cool things about this pad. First off, I like the top strap here. I yeah. like the bottom strap here. 
There's no type of transition of material in between. Uh, it has a really nice feel on the inside, it right does. where your kneecap is going to be. It almost has that like two stage, yeah, um, like soft padding here, but then harder padding on the outside, like we had discussed with I think the damage pads. Yeah. Um. So I do really like that. It's the only knee pad that has this like elastic band mm -hmm. at the top and the bottom. I think that's really cool. Um, and I do love the fact that it's adjustable straps on the top and the bottom. So you can make it as tight or as, as loose as you want to. Uh, if you're, you know, my biggest thing with knee pads is that like the longer you wear them, the more that they, you sweat in them and everything else like that. With time, they start to wear, they get a little bit larger. They don't, they're not gonna be as tight to your knee and everything else like that. So these straps come in handy uh, with time because you can really tie them down if you need to. Um, I don't like this, you know, I wish that they had gone away from that. I like when the, yeah. the few knee pads that we have here, I like the, when those uh, don't have the mesh. Um, the pad, the padding itself is pretty good. It's definitely not the hardest. I would like to mention that the padding here seems a little bit softer than mm -hmm. the padding uh, right where your kneecap is gonna be, which I think is a smart idea. Uh, it's got a little bit padding, more padding on the outside uh, realm of that. Um, so overall, I think for sixty four ninety five, I think they are a really nice quality option. I think that I would definitely consider these uh, for sixty four ninety five, and these are definitely something that you should consider when you're purchasing your next pair of knee pads. So with that said, we are going to do Punisher's picks on our knee pads, and Key and I are going to go over which one we like the most. All right, guys. So for my Punisher pick, uh, I am going with the Bunker Kings Royal Guard. Um, these pads. Uh, were the first knee pads that I truly felt comfortable in. Um, for me being a skinnier guy, I hated knee pads. I always had them falling down and never really could find any that I was like, okay, I like these. Uh, Till I tried the Royal Guard pads on. Uh, I personally love them. The foam, I like that it's a uh, more flimsy foam because it gives me uh, more flexibility in my knees, as well as it doesn't feel like it's restricting any movement or anything. Um, I've never had them fall down or uh, go too far up or spin around my knee. Uh, and so overall, I think that these are my number one pick and my number one go-to pads. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, <laughs> it's funny because I'm holding the damage pads, right? And I, I didn't choose those and I'm going to go over the reason why, but I agree with you. I, like I said, I'm personally wearing those as well. And I had a really good experience last weekend. Yeah. My first time wearing them, I had a really good experience with them uh, for being brand new, not broken in, and everything else like that. I would agree with you. Um, I decided to go with the Virtue Damage Pads. The reason I did that was because I think that these pads feature a lot of really cool uh, options for a price point that's like half of what we're talking about yeah. for these other knee pads. That's why I chose that was because of the price point difference. Um, you know, like I said, I wear the Bunker Keens just because it's a more expensive pad. I'm an involved paintball player. I think that this covers the realm of involved paintball player, but also those players that are just beginning. It's not like you're per spending thirty six ninety five, but you're still getting a quality pad. Um, I like yeah. the fact that you know this this portion right here is open, so it's not gonna theoretically it's not gonna bo bother the back of your knee. I like that the inside padding is different than the outside padding. The outside padding Battery. is a little bit softer. It's definitely a softer foam compared to some of the other pads that we had discussed. Like the, the dye was really hard and foam. The exalt was a hard and foam. Um, and then lastly, I like the fact that the strap is on the top of the kneecap instead of the bottom of the kneecap. I think it just logically makes more sense. And 3695, I really think that these are the seal. Uh, when it comes to knee pads. So that concludes our knee pad review. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, the content here. If you guys did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us on all social media. We're gonna be bringing you weekly content on YouTube. And uh, sound off if there's any comments that you guys had about the knee pads. If there's anything else that we should discuss in further videos, please leave it in the comments and we will see you guys next time.